Okay, well Rich here and it's day three of my gardening vlog in Northern California. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what I've got going on and what I'm planting today. But a question for you people out there, does anybody know anything about lemon trees? Because these two were planted at the same time by the previous occupants of this property. Check out the size of that one compared to the size of this one. What the heck is that about? Anybody tell me in the comment section below. I'd love to know a little bit more about lemon trees and why we've seen that explosive growth. Been out quite a busy boy this morning. Been out bought quite a few more plants, some of which I've already planted, which I should show you in just a second. But first thing I'm going to be doing is filling all these tubs up with the all my tubs with my uh, Vigoro multi-purpose potting mix. Got this because I can use it in those smaller pots that I've got over there for uh, planting my seedlings out later on. Anyway, let me get it's not gone too bad at all. One bag four pots which is, means that I've got plenty of potting compost on board on there I really didn't want to have to go out under this sheltering place thing again just to get more potting compost yet at the same time I don't want to buy five or six bags and have like two years worth left on spilled so uh, time to give me some water and then get planted. all seven pots are good dowsing you can see the air bubbling through on there now on these pots look down here and you can see the water bubbling out. They've actually got a tray at the bottom that holds about an inch of water, which I think is a really neat idea. I only just noticed that as I was unpacking them. My apologies for not mentioning that earlier on in the video. Anyway, I'll leave these for a few minutes for the water to settle down in there, and then let's get planting. And today we're gonna to be planting my watermelon plants. We're gonna be planting my crookneck elm squash plants, and my slightly poorly looking zucchini squash plants and I've also got another three tomato plants to put in so I'm gonna get some of my compost into these pots as I'm gonna split some of these plants out particularly tomatoes into the larger pots as well as putting them in the ground okay well I'm putting my four watermelon plants two of the crookneck squash and two of the zucchini squash into this space here which I found with the squash and the watermelons in previous years that I've done pretty well in there and it is already deer proofed with the netting so so let me get these in the ground there's four holes in there for the watermelon Bizarrely, this end of this bed, the soil is quite good, but the end, the, as soon as you move on down there to the side where the beans are, that stuff is just useless. Kind of needs digging up, as I say, a couple of bags of manure in there, maybe do that over the winter. Anyway, let me get my watermelons in. A good bit of water before popping them in the ground, it just makes them easier to remove from the pot. And I make sure I keep the label securely on the outside there. So, that I know exactly what I've planted where, as it's very, very easy to lose the label and then wonder until the fruit comes out what well, planted for watermelons in i'm going to give those a good soaking after i have finished planting the zucchini and the squash okay, well that's everything in now if anybody's wondering uh, if i plant them too close to the strawberry plants these are naturally seeded strawberry plants like from that a bird has done the previous year if you know what i mean um so i'm going to remove those two at some point in the next couple of days but they're doing fine in there now so i'm more interested in getting this locked down but it meant water everything but I'm keeping all of these pots because I've got a seed starter kit indoors and as the seeds grow I'm going to transfer them into these pots before putting them in the some water but another project I've been working on today is clearing that bed uh, if you watched the other day's video you will see this bed here was completely clogged with weeds so I'm like three quarters away there on that one anyway let's give these babies some water <laughs> I've given everything a good dowsing doesn't look too big or too strong at the minute but they are just planted uh, hopefully if the sun comes out today in sunny northern california but the sun is trying to break through the cloud there now i was thinking it was going to pour down with rain which would be no bad thing for your garden obviously in here but uh, fingers crossed those will perk up so we'll come back to those in a day or so and hopefully remove the strawberry plants and to put another tomato cage in here so i'm gonna put another two tomato plants in there yeah. about what tomato brand i'm using i'm particularly impressed with these husky cherry red tomatoes which hopefully give out lots of small ones but just look how thick and strong the stem is from the outset now the one thing i would say is check out how well my strawberries are already doing. Anyway, whilst I said these tubs were slightly good with that little inch of uh, tray at the bottom on there, there's maybe more water in there than I thought should be stood in there up to this time, but it is now draining out of there quite freely, whereas it wasn't before. I do like to show people the good and the bad of this stuff. I've got my last three remaining tomato plants, or tomato plants if you're from the UK, like where I am, but not in Northern California, like we are now got those in all staked up put a little tight around each of them as the uh, northern california wind can get a bit fierce uh, some evenings 
Anyway, hope you liked today's video and see you on vlog day four. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.